What's up everyone and welcome to another video. I'm glad to see you here. Today we're going to talk about how I make my life more productive as a software developer, software engineer, web developer, whatever you want to call it. And uh, today I'm going to show you some of the productivity Chrome extensions that I use that, you know, help me save some free time. The free time I can use for drinking and making coffee pulling my hair out because I just haven't prepared for my next job interview. Catching up on sleep because that's just one of the things we really don't like doing. So as you can see, time is of the essence for us. That's why today I'm going to save you a lot of time by introducing you to these very good and very helpful Chrome extensions that you can use every day when designing and developing your software. So without any further ado, further ado, further ado, further ado, further ado, you know what I mean, everyone knows what I mean. My English uh, clearly is not at its level. So let's just jump in and I'll get on with something that I'm actually fairly decent at. Okay. The first thing I want to share with you, my beautiful software engineering people, is something called Style Stash. Now, this is an extension I discovered very recently on Reddit, and actually one of the uh, Redditors under the CSS subreddit has posted this, and they were like, hey, I made this new extension, check it out. So I go and check it out, and actually it's pretty damn sick. I'll show you. So I'm going to go over to Ant Design, which is like a UI library, and we're going to look at the buttons. Uh, so I can show you as a, as a simple example what, what this Chrome extension can actually do. Okay, so here we have the free example buttons. And now the point of this is, let's assume that I find something on the internet and I really like it and I want to know what the styles and what the CSS of the button is, but also I want to keep it and reuse it. Well, what Style Stash allows you to do is just inspect a specific button. So let's say this primary button and I can stash this button and then I can redirect to my styles and I can see I've got this button here and it has an apply. Now, let's say that I select a different element like this dashed button and let's say, okay, I have this dash button, but I actually want to incorporate the styling of primary onto it. So I can just do is go to the little library. And I can just click apply and it's just going to apply the style that I already have saved onto this button. Now, I think that's insane because not only it allows you to see how that button was made, but you can actually keep it as a reference for your own project. So if you're working on a website where you're redoing the design of many buttons, you can just apply it. Now, this is really, really awesome uh, for productivity purposes, uh, for reuse purposes, uh, for insight purposes of a specific element. And this is not just with buttons, this is with everything. I can take these red buttons here and I can stash this one. And I can take this button right here and I can stash this one. Take this link here and I can stash it. And then I say, oh, I, I like this red link outline, but actually I just, I just want it to be, I just want it to be white. Well, I can just apply it and there we go. So this is how it works. Now that I found this extension, it's something that I'm definitely going to use in my workflow. I've only had it here for about two or three days, but it seems like something that's extremely useful. One thing you need to remember is when you're designing, it's very important to not only have your own ideas, but it's really good to take ideas of other people. Now, this is how you get inspired and this is how I get inspired to create my UI designs. I see something, I like it, and I want to remember it, I can just use this. And then when I go back to it, I can look into it, I can apply it, and then I can add my own twist to something. And that's how you make something really good, but better. Okay, so that was Style Stash for you. Now let's move on to the second extension that I use. So put yourself in a scenario that you're designing a website and you're looking for inspiration. And one thing I always do is I look for inspiration on Behance. Behance is an incredible website uh, run by Adobe, which just shows you all these graphic designers and web designers and the way they do things. And let's just select the first one that popped up. Okay, I have this mobile website. And let's assume I really like this green color and I would love to use it 
on my website. Well, what I can do is I have this extension called Color Picker. And what it does is it gives you like a zoom in view of the color so you can sometimes really pick what color you want from the website. And you can just select it and just copy it. And it gives you that specific color in hexadecimal format and RGB. Now, I find myself using this all the time because some of these color combinations that I find on Behance that people use really appeal to me. But you can never like find the exact color that you want. So this Chrome extension is fantastic because I can just select any color. And like I said, it has that little zoom in. So let's say I want to get the color of this yellow line right here. It's quite hard to just like select it with a mouse. But if you use the zoom in feature like it has here, you can actually see, ah, there we go. That's the color I want. I select it and here it is. I think that's perfect. Now onto the next extension that I use very often. And it's also a form of a color picker. But sometimes when I'm prototyping, when I'm designing my website, when I want an instant color instead of using the generic blue, red, green, which are just ugly and it just demotivates me when I use these colors, I like to make it a little bit nicer and just find a nice color in the moment of a click. And for that I use the material color palette. It's just right there in your browser. You click it and you get all this visual representation of all the colors that you can use. And all you just need to do is just click on it and it just automatically copies to your clipboard. So then when you're developing and you want to put something in your code, well, you just have it there and you can really quickly kind of get the sense of what you want to do without using the standard base, green, orange, and blue colors that are so boring right now. You don't want to do that. The final Chrome extension I want to talk about is one for finding fonts. You know how appealing fonts can sometimes be. The ones you see and you're like, oh my God, I wish I had this font. But what is this font? And then you spend hours on your computer trying to find something that actually seems to be similar. Well, with this Chrome extension, you don't have to do that anymore. And see how much time I just saved you again? What you do is you can just download a Chrome extension called What Font. And basically, all you have to do is just hover it over the font and it just tells you, well, Google uses Arial. But to test it and to show you that it actually works, we can go on Google Fonts. Right there. Let's just click What Font. And this one is Robo. Well, yes, that's right. Balsamic. DM, look at that. All the fonts you want to know, you don't even have to search them up, look for them on the websites like that font or whatever other websites there are for fonts. In a matter of a click, you know what font you can use for your website. If you click, it gives you more description of that font. It gives you the weight of the font. It gives you the family that it belongs to, what kind of style it has, the size of the font, the line height, uh, the color of the font. So all these things are extremely useful. Like I said at the beginning, productivity is important. I always kind of neglected it when I was a web developer, but actually these tools, as simple as they sound, the amount of time and hassle I save over picking and knowing certain things about what someone has used so I can implement in my website and put my own twist on it, is actually magical and time-saving. So I would highly recommend any of you web developers and designers to invest your time in downloading these extensions. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put the links to all these extensions down in the description below so you can use them and download them and implement them in your workflow. Also, I recently made a Discord server. So if you want to join, get programming help, chat to me about anything you want. You're more welcome to do that. I'm on there mostly all the time. Uh, so you will definitely be able to catch me. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to stay tuned with all my other content. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye. Raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful.